Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to set up your new WSCAD software quickly and easily. You buy new software and the first thing you do in the software is to customize your individual views, workspaces and settings so that you can start efficiently with this configuration in the software. In this video, I will show you how you can adjust all views, workspaces and settings in the WSCAD software to meet your requirements. You will probably want to customize the display, settings and workspaces to your requirements first. In the software, you can directly display the toolbars that you need for your daily work. Or you can create new ones. Here you navigate to the top right hand edge of the software. Right click to open the context menu and navigate to customize toolbars. Then select the tab in which you want to create the new commands or shortcuts. We show how this works with the keyboard shortcuts in another video. To create your own toolbar, go to the toolbar tab. In this dialog you can see the various toolbars. The toolbars highlighted in bold can be changed. You can also create a new toolbar using the new button. Now select the commands you would like to have in your toolbar. Once you have completed the toolbar, it also appears in the context menu and can be displayed. You can freely position and arrange all additional windows and toolbars on the screen. You also have the option of working with several screens in order to display the work screen as large as possible as this is the screen you use the most. Once you have arranged the windows and toolbars, you can save this workspace so that you can always use it. Of course, you can also save other workspaces, such as for the laptop because it runs on one screen. If you have successfully set the views of the interface, you will certainly want to customize the view in the workspace to your requirements. To do this, navigate to Tools and then open the settings. Now open the View tab. Under Color Elements, you can configure the color elements as you would like them to be displayed. The checkboxes override all colors from the icons and texts. However, Activated layer colors are not overridden here. You can also easily transfer the colors displayed on the screen to the printer using the button in the middle. You can also carry out the process for the control cabinet layout, as other views are usually used here as in other disciplines. The procedure in this area is identical here. To then also set the working directories, go to the directories tab and select the storage locations here. Please note that the docs folder for the help files and the temp folder for temporary storage processes are referenced locally. Once you have configured the software, you can also make these settings available to other colleagues if necessary. To do this, navigate to Tools, Configuration Settings and Export and save this globally for your colleagues. These settings can now be imported and all colleagues will have the same configuration as you. You have now set up new software to meet your requirements and can get started right away.